Hello all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Adonis. Today I'm going to be doing the love coming spread for all of my errors out there for the week of July 14th to the 20th. So this is a love coming spread. See what kind of love is coming towards you uh, from the week of July 14th to the 20th. So without any further ado, let's jump right in and see what the cards have to say. Some rising Venus Jupiter, some rising Venus Jupiter, some rising Venus Jupiter. Show me cards I need to see. Show me cards I need to see for all of my Aries out there. See what kind of love they have coming towards them during the week of July 14th into the 20th. Okay, so right off the bat here, we have a four of wands. So this individual uh, coming towards you is looking possibly for a long-term commitment, possible, possible family in the future as well, possible marriage situation. So that's something uh, that's something that you may, that you want to look for here. In addition, you have the world card. So they are at the um, things have come full full circle for them. Um, they're, at the, at, they're at the end of the journey, or they could possibly uh, have taken some kind of uh, travel and be at the end of this travel here. And they have the, they, they've gotten a sense of clarity. Um, and, they, and, it, and, and really it looks like, you know, uh, they have the lover's card here, that they have this sense of, of clarity in regards of uh, they want um, a, a soulmate, a, a soul twin flame connection with someone um, preferably at the judgment card here someone from their past they want to reconnect with someone from their past um, someone from their past uh, they want to re reconnect with this individual and it's in you know we connect with this individual now this 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 uh, individual here uh, could possibly be a water sign individual uh, that's that's coming at you a Pisces, uh, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. Um, so they are definitely um, moving towards you. Again, this is a general reading, okay? So you know this may or may not resonate with you. This is a general reading, but for whom I'm speaking to specifically, um, those that I'm speaking to specifically, this is a this is a person. Uh, who's looking to pursue a long-term marriage at this point, a uh, possible long-term relationship, because they come to the end of a journey, and, 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 and they did some soul-searching, okay? They did some soul-searching here, and they're looking to, to, to really make a deep connection with you. Again, and you're from their past. You've associated with them. You've dealt with them some type of way, some type of relationship you have with this person from the past. And now we have, again, we have the, the King of Cups individual. So this person that is coming back into your orbit is definitely a Pisces individual, Pisces, Cancer, or Scorpio. Now, we have the Eight of Swords here. And this individual has felt trapped. Uh, trapped. They felt like their hands were tied behind their back. And as a result of them feeling like their hands were tied behind their back, we got the Three of Swords here. They felt as if... Um, yeah, and it's caused a, this caused a bit, of, a bit of heartache, possibly heartache, either heartache to them or heartache to you. But uh, at this point in their journey, we have the we have the um, the sixth we have the sixth of swords here, which says they're transitioning into more calmer, more stable waters. And there's this sense of clarity that has emerged because of the situation. And this has given them a sense of temperance, a sense of moderation, a sense of balance. They have this this long journey, this transformation has caused a sense of a balance. Them to be able to balance themselves, moderation in their life, really. Um, and 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 this journey has given them the clarity that they needed. So, with that being said, let's see what kind of strengths. Let's see what kind of strengths. Uh, my Irish are dealing with some rising mean is stupid, some rising mean is stupid. Show me cards I need to see, show me cards I need to see for all my areas out there. See what kind of strengths that they're going to be dealing with during the week of um, July 14th until the 20th. Wow. This, wow, this is crazy. 
I'll let you know in a minute, guys. Okay, so right off the bat here, we have the sixth, we got the six of cups. And that means one of your strengths, this is funny, you can't, you can't make this stuff up. Um, one of the strengths is that someone from your past, someone from your past, uh, is going to be coming into your orbit again. Okay, see how this works? So someone from your past uh, is going to be coming into your orbit again. Um, and they're looking for a reconnection. They're looking to reconnect with you. Now, you have the King of Pentacles here as a strength of yours. Now, this, um, the King of Pentacles is a very wise energy. It's an earth sign energy. Um, and that earth sign, earth sign energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. But it's very grounded down to earth energy. Okay? And this energy, you know, a, a, a lot of times this energy represents an individual that can make, you know, very wise decisions when it comes in terms of money issues, but also someone that's really down to earth when it comes to their mindset. And so that's, 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 one, that's, that, that's definitely one of your strengths here. In addition, we have the wheel of fortune moving in your favor uh, because there was a sudden event. There was, there was a tower moment here. There was this tower moment that kind of knocked everything off his axis. It knocked everything off his axis. And now the wheels of fortune are beginning to move into your favor once again. Now, um, you know, and, and you pretty much, you weathered the storm. You weathered the storm. That's what this tower of saying represents as, as one of your strengths. You weathered the storm of this situation. And this was connect, directly connected to what, what's happening with this situation, with this person coming back into your life from your past. Um, we got the strength card here. Now, it is definitely taking some strength, courage, spiritual strength as well for you to be able to move forward. And it's often what accompanies these situations is the justice card. Because now you are looking for a sense of truth. You want truth. You want justice. You want there to be an equal give and take. You're looking for balance in the relationship, in the situation. Can't make this stuff up, right? Um, in addition, we have the Queen of Cups. The Queen of Cups energy here. This Queen of Cups energy is another thing that you have. Uh, the strength of yours is, again, Queen of Cups energy. Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. <clears throat> is devoted very devoted very loyal uh, uh individual here so again that's definitely something that you uh, uh 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 this 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 feather that you have in your cap here that that's definitely a good thing to have finally we got the two of swords two of swords so with all of this being said also a strength that you possess is the fact that you know what? You're kind of like uh, in an impasse right now. You have an impasse. You, there's, there's decisions that you have to make. And the fact that you have decisions, you can go either way with that, is definitely a strength of yours. You're not going to get sucked back into a situation blindly um, as you have before because you have the moon card here. And this moon card here says you have completely inoculated yourself against the possibility of being deceived. In a, in a potential situation because you dealt with this before the deception of what happened before and so you know you, you again you know uh, uh, um, let me a little bit of clarification on this moon card here because I want to get some clarification on that particular situation when it comes to this some of you need to see what some of you need to see what some of you need to see some of you need to see get any clarification on this moon card I have here is the strength Yep. Okay. Granted, so contemplation. Got the four swords. Contemplation, relaxation, relaxation. So you thought about it, you contemplated it. Four pentacles, a short success. As I said before, 
you have inoculated yourself against the possibility of something like that happening again. So, this person is coming back. In other words, this person is coming to your, back into your life. Um, it was something sudden that happened. Um, you, it was very unexpected. Uh, it it kind of knocked you on your feet a little bit, but you, you know, you did. You, you know, you 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 thought about it. You've had time to heal from it. Um, and this person is reemerging again. Now, again, it's up to you if you want anything to do with this individual coming back into your life again. Um, and the individual seems to be, like I said, a water sign person. So. It's, it's up to you, but you basically inoculated yourself against the situation. Um, and so that's, with that being said, let's see what type of, um, what things from the past could possibly affect the outcome of the situation. Some rise of Venus, Jupiter. Some rise of Venus, Jupiter, show cards I need to see, show cards I need to see, show cards I need to see. For all of my, <clears throat> for all my areas out there. Okay, something that could definitely affect the outcome of this situation, the devil card, which is, um, it was a somewhat of a toxic relationship before, um, and you got the, you got the, uh, you, you got the short end of the stick with this individual, so something that could definitely affect the outcome of how this how how this thing comes out um is if that toxicity still exists again as i said before this person uh created a bit of heartache with you um and the fact that the double car popped out here um it is is a testament to that to say hey listen once bitten twice shot so, you know, that is definitely something that could affect the outcome of this if, if you perceive this as still being somewhat toxic. In addition, we have the King, King of Pentacles here. This King of Pentacles energy says here that, um, <clears throat> you know, before you thought you were, you, you were grounded on, the, on solid ground, um, you thought you were making wise decisions, and it, as it turns out, you didn't. And again, uh, that could definitely cause you to... Uh, uh, that could definitely change the parameter here of this particular situation. Again, if you feel as though um, that type of foundation, that solid foundation with this other individual does not exist. Addition, we got the Two of Cups here. And as I said before, you believe that this person possibly was your was your soulmate. Now, it just so happens they're looking for a, uh, looking for a soulmate connection with someone from their past reconnection. Now, it's kind of funny because that's exactly what you thought that this person was to you. Um, didn't turn out that way. Um, in addition here, finally here we have the Ace of Swords. And in the past, you were not dealing with, with a sense of clarity. However, now this is a removal of any blockages. As I said before, with you inoculating yourself towards this situation, a sudden tower event, uh, yeah, the certain tower event that uh, popped up here. We also we had the moon card that popped up as well. Um, you inoculated yourself against all of that. I don't know how long in the past that this particular thing happened, um, but it definitely was something from your past. It could be. As little as a month ago, it could have been. It could be as long as a couple of years back. So, you know, I'm not too sure about that. But I definitely know this person's from your past. It was. It was a sense of toxicity, and you thought there was more here than what there actually was. Now, funny enough, they're coming back into your life again, and they're looking for what you were looking for at that time. Um, but this particular time, like I said, you got your game face on. You know, you're. You know, now I'm not, now again, this person is looking for this. It's up to you if you decide to, to accept this and move forward with this particular situation. But right now, you like to see you have the removal, the, you have clarity, the re removal of blockages. So, you know, you're pretty sure about what you want and you're pretty sure about what's in, in front of you. In other words, your, your eyes are wide open. So with that being said, let's see if Spirit has any additional information it wants to bestow upon you before I shut this thing down. Spirit, is there any additional information you want to give my Aries for the week of 
for the week of April 14th of 20th. to say renewal uh, there's a possibility of a renewal of a love here um, for sure it's a possibility of renewal for love possibility for uh, of renewal for old passions uh, to 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 resurface a, re a possibility of for uh, uh, possibility for a reconnection a renewal of a connection with this individual However, Spirit also wants to tell you that there needs to be a sense of moderation. So there needs to be a sense of balance here, an equal give and take. Um, this person has to give to you as much as you're giving. There has to be a sense of moderation and sense of balance in your life. Um, and finally here, we got the unity card. Meaning, being as one, unifying together in true harmony. Twin soulmate connection if you will now th again this is this is crazy i you know the way that this whole thing played out here but again that's that's the that's the true magic uh of the tarot um so i think th those that's a pretty th that's a pretty good note to end on here um my name is adonis thank you so much for listening if this hasn't resonated with if this does not resonate with you specifically please feel free to uh, get a personal reading with me so we can pretty much dig into your personal situation. Again, these are general readings. Um, again, um, I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Please like, share, and subscribe. Bye-bye.